Hello and welcome to Junk Journal Inspirations. My name is Emily. So we're on to part four of the Junk Mail Envelope Journal. And uh, today we will be um, sewing in our journal signature to the back cover. And if that doesn't take too long, we'll go ahead and attach the back cover to the front cover. <laughs> All right, so I have already um, picked out my papers. Um, I have a whole bunch here and I'm not gonna decorate really inside the journal part. So I'm okay with it being a little bit full. Um, I have a uh, Tim Holtz double-sided cardstock on the front and in the middle. And this is from the memorandum um, paper pad. And then I just have some, um, like vintage papers and receipts and some coffee dyed papers. Uh, just, you know, some fun stuff in here. Oh, that's upside down. Let's turn that around. Not that it probably matters a whole lot, but, and what I've done, if you can see here, I've sort of staggered um, how I've put everything in here. So, um, you know, it's not all in the middle or all at the top or the bottom. And then long pieces I've just uh, folded over to fit. And then this even folds out this way. Um, and then any papers that were old and sort of brittle, I just added um, washi tape to, to make them sturdier. Uh, and then that's a piece of the Tim Holtz paper there. So everything, you know, you can put in there whatever you want. Um, I made the like cover piece. Um, it is the same size as my envelope, uh, the large envelope, I believe. Um, but it is, let's measure it here. Um, I cut the paper to nine and three quarter inches tall and I left the outside piece, this one here, 12 inches and just folded it in half so it's six across. And then that page in the middle is also nine and three quarters but I cut it to um, about 11 so that it wouldn't, you know, cause when you start bulking up all these papers, um, you know, they inch their way out, right? And I didn't want anything showing from um, from inside, if that makes sense. All right, so that is done. I have um, inked my uh, inside spine. You're not gonna see the outside, so I'm not worried about that. Inked around the rest of it. And I've already measured for my holes. And hopefully, let me uh, find one. So I figured out the center. Oh, I, that's why I can't find it. I did it on the outside. <laughs> I put my pencil marks on the outside. So this was the center and it's roughly the center um, of the spine as well. And then I went three and a half inches up and three and a half inches down. So this will be a three hole um, pamphlet stitch. And for the purposes of this particular video, um, I'm not going to really go into a lot of um, in-depth instructions on how to do a three-hole pamphlet stitch. Um, I have done that before and lots of other people have done it as well. Um, so I'm just going to kind of sew it in and, and go and, you know, just go for it really. So this, I did the same thing. I found the center of my signature, which is right here. And then I went three and a half inches this way and three and a half inches this way and made marks. So it should be nice and, um, you know, centered and straight when we're finished. So the first thing I want to do is, um, because it this is kind of bulky, I want to go ahead, I think, do I? Or will I, should I just wing it? No, winging it never really works well. <laughs> All right, so I'm just going to add some binder clips here and here. Oh, I think the dogs are going to start barking. All right, so I have my binder clips on. Sorry, I, I edited some stuff out there because the dogs started barking. 
So that's all ready. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use my awl and I'm gonna hold this as closed as I can um, so that I only go through the middle. So if you, or yeah, the, the folds of the paper. So if you can see that. And then I'll do the same thing on my other marks. Okay, where is my mark? <laughs> oh, okay, it's there. Right? Is that right? Let me double check. Double check. Okay, so if you can see, I've got my holes there and there and there. And then for this, I'm going to use, I just have like this foam, um, uh, piece of foam. I have no idea what it's from, um, but I use that when I just need to poke. I have foam books too, but um, I'm just gonna poke my holes. All right, and then we're ready to sew. I have some, uh, just some blue embroidery floss that I'm gonna use here. All right, let's, fingers crossed, no more, no more loud noises from the poppers. <laughs> All right, so I'm just gonna sew this together. So our signature is all sewn in, okay? This is gonna get covered, um, but everything is all sewn in now, okay? And I left uh, some length here because I'll probably add a charm or something uh, to that. And so we have, this is our back cover, right? And then you have your journal part, we have our spine and we have our little flap here. And that little flap is what we're gonna use to attach the front cover and envelope section, okay? Which is this section here. And then that will sit right on top of our journal, okay? This one's a little bulkier uh, than the one that I made for the swap, apparently, um, but that's okay. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I am gonna add glue just to the flap, okay? So just to this half inch, flap and I'm actually probably going to go ahead and um, miter those corners I'm trying to do it so that you can see what I'm doing um, because we really don't need yeah I don't want to have to worry about matching up um, you know the the edges so much so We'll just trim those off. Okay, and then I'm gonna add glue just to that flap and I'm gonna use my Magnetac slash Fabri-Tac slash uh, whatever you are using. <laughs> and I'm just going to add that right up to that score line and then everywhere in between and on the edge. Okay. All right, now, I'll get that off of the table so I don't get glue on the front cover. All right, make sure it's the right way up, right? I'm gonna line it up. This is gonna be a, a bit tricky. All right, I'm gonna line it up with the crease. I'm sorry if you can hear that. 
I did shut the door, but I think they're being so loud. You can probably hear it. <laughs> I apologize. I really do try to film when they're not here, but I got, I, I, you know, they slept through yesterday's video. So I thought, oh, why don't I just do another one? Probably not the best idea, but that's okay. All right. So just make sure everything is nice and lined up there. And you make sure that, you know, everything just sort of lines up nicely. And then you can uh, take your envelope section and just just sort of hold that up and press down um, on your cover here. And I just run my finger through here and get off any like extra little glue blobs that might might be hanging out. Okay, I think that's good. I think that's really good. All right, so we have everything uh, put together now for the most part, right? Um, I think I'm gonna stop this video. I intended to go, you know, uh, further, but I think they're just too wound up about something and I don't wanna have to worry about annoying anyone with dog barking. So I will be back um, probably not until, you know, uh, Monday or Tuesday or sometime next week. And we will finish our spine and um, I will do, I will show you how I made some of the elements that were inside um, that swap journal. But yeah, I love this a lot. Very happy with it. I think it's, I think it's coming along nicely. <laughs> Let me know what you think in the comments. So here's our journal section. Yep, and then our back cover. Uh, let me know what you think. Let me know um, if you're enjoying this. If you're following along, um, you are more than welcome to send me pictures on, um, uh, in you know, to my email if you want. You can uh, tag me on Instagram if you know if you post anything. I would love to see what you're creating. All right, guys. I'm sorry for the barking. I'm sorry for the weird edited video. Um, I thought I could get away with it, but I couldn't. <laughs> All right. Have a fabulous day, guys, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.